Welcome back to Taco Bola Gaming. My name is Taco Bola. Today we continue our run playing as Castile, going for the Atwix Legacy Achievement. As I record this, we have probably gotten a release date that's not too far away for the next DLC, which will undoubtedly uh, destroy the save. So I'm likely going to try and finish this up relatively quickly with some cheese uh, and finish that up before updating. Um, and then... Uh, doing something in the next update after that we'll see on timeline i don't know but uh just to let you know what's happening uh in the the real world uh, at the moment we have five if i'm remembering correctly yep we have five and if we can get there in time and get some prestige from uh this uh war here Then, uh... Oh, okay, we did bring down the, the full army. Oh. oh, no, 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 no. No, no. No pretenders. No pretenders shall have the throne. Peasants are peasants. Didn't you have a army? You dropped the army off? Are you crazy? Okay. Okay. So what I'm very curious about is whether or not um, if you have a relative on the throne, if you can put another relative on the throne, if their heir has too much of a of a uh, a thing. All right, thank you for that. Uh, go finish that. Finish them off. Thank you. All right, we're actually uh, probably fine on the battles, so uh, we'll just leave the army where it is right there. We're fine on the war, I should say. So we'll just leave the army right there. We don't need to siege anything else down, I don't believe. We're at 22%. Uh, yeah, we'll just uh, lose government reform progress. Didn't even have to give up... Um, didn't even have to give up influence for that. We have 22%. So if we get them to concede defeat, which they'll do, we can even... We can yank development... With concede defeat? Did not expect that. Okay. Uh, you still have a weak claim. It is a Detrans Marta. Uh, so we need to do this once. They're at 73%. We now can break vassalization. We still have uh, a royal tie. Oh, excellent. I have a colony. Um, I don't really have maps, though. Um, Timbuktu, you like me. Uh, we don't have positive prestige. Hopefully we don't need that for claiming throne. No, we don't. Oh, Aragon. Aragon. 
Paragon. France will come. Aragon, Aragon, Aragon. Now, now, now. Don't you get all puppy with me. Oh, they have noble rebels. And the Portuguese have noble rebels. And Austria wants stuff. They want gold. And Navarra has decided that everyone needs to be angered for some reason. Whatever. Claim throne. Uh, Tunis doesn't like that. Whatever. Uh, yeah, we. The the stability is fine. And then do that. Now, hopefully, there's no one who guaranteed them. Nope. So we don't have to worry about that problem this time around. Obviously, no, we're not calling France in on the war, but if you want to give me ducats, I would I would like that, because Austria just took some of mine. And <laughs> they tried to come and reinforce, but no. Oh, oh, this is a level three fort. Really? Okay. Let's bring in the big guns, quite literally. Did not know this was a level 3 fort. I probably was supposed to uh, destroy that fort in the meantime some point. And didn't. I don't actually know... There might be some manufacturers that are worth doing something. Oh, yeah. 428 to build them. But, oh, yeah. We also could do the Granada and... Uh, yeah, why don't you... Uh, no, I, I don't want you... Oh, they're locked. Okay, whatever. Put the cannons on the fort, that's the point. And uh, what ideas are we doing? Uh, we're doing exploration, and we are way ahead of time in military. I want this war to be done as quickly as possible. Our friends are coming in. Well, and now you don't have to. Oh, Aragon's going to finish it off anyway. Okay. Oh, good. Colonial range up. Jola! I want to bargain. Union. And, uh, <laughs> it angers Jolof, <clears throat> but that is it. Um, you know, minus 148, eh, what's, what's a little bit of, what's a little bit of a, of a little bit of 148 again amongst friends? Here, I'll pay off your debt. That'll help. Oh, no, I'm not giving you argument. Not giving you that. Okay. So now I need to figure out where rebels are and if there's still problems with any of them. 
I don't see literally any rebels, so I don't think there's any problems with rebels. I want you to head back north, and we're going to figure out our next target. Well, our next target's going to be something for prestige, because we don't have any. Tunis, you are allied with Aquilia, and you don't have a truce with me. Found our next target. We're going to use Reconquest. Oh, sure, bring Austria in. Where is Aquilia? Up here! I might need to take that too, but we'll get to that when we get to that. Um, we're going to have Kazdir. That'll bring Silly in, but let's me bring France in. So I can literally just take a back seat on this. I like this idea. And if Austria takes that fort, then oh well. I don't really care. If they need to have it, they can have it. Why don't you hop on into Austria's port here? Or actually hop into our port. While I'm at it, I'm going to grab a claim on Venice. Venetia. Oh, that's uh, where we're currently sitting. And then that one. Okay. Well, this would be a good uh, colony option right here, as long as I'm waiting for... Uh, maps which I really don't have to be waiting for maps Let's get my fleet up here oh my, my light chips are somewhere else where they don't look like they're in any mission at all you need to be protecting trade or at least doing something I need the explorer I believe that probably the Congo, if I can get stuff on it. Um, what would that be? West African Sea Coast. South Atlantic Sea. Start with West African Sea. We'll start there. This colony is just about done. In fact, let's go ahead and, and uh, recall the colonists. And we're going to get the next one. And I want a spy network on you. If I can get my war with you before uh, you move, I will definitely take that. Uh, in anticipation of that being successful, I'm going to have the Navy transport you across the ocean. And yes, we have gotten the Congo area. All right. Um, so actually, we're going to recall that colonist, because we need one right next to the Congo. And uh, since we do have two free diplomats, let's grab one of those. And then let's figure out where we can release something. We can release 
Luongo right there, that's perfect. That's perfect. Take those two. Ah, we can choose a position on the Council of Trent. Kind of the Reformation. I don't need any more missionaries, do I? No, I do not. We're going to not do that for now. Um, Papacy. Council of Trent. Um, I'm fine with conciliatory. Perfectly fine. Our explorer is ready. Well, I can upgrade those ships, which probably means I can upgrade the rest of them. Let's go ahead and do South Atlantic. I'm going to try and get something in Zimbabwe. All right. Who occupies you? I do. Good. I want your land. You're one month away. Most people are taking a harsh stance. Which is fine, I guess. And we're going to, once again, get rid of that castle. Because I don't want to sit here and do that. Silly! I'm going to go ahead and give you to Austria. That's perfectly fine with me. They are, once again, one day away, or one month away. Is what it is. We're still at only uh, minus 18, but I think we started around minus 40 or something like that. Um, I really wanted to just be able to sit, kick, kick back and avoid a long war, guys. Yeah, you can march. You march. It's fine. Navy is occupied. Apparently we're running into rebels. So we should be able to get the rest of a, a colonial nation out of these guys. With their uh, tribal land right here. Which is what we're after. Eventually we need to fight Great Britain and try and take some of this. But we'll see. Uh, let's gain a stability. Since, you know, we lost a little bit of it. With the whole stuff and stuff. For now, we'll keep the focus diplomatic. Tunis, you're all alone, right? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to Spanish Bible translation. That's fine. Oh, the man looks have announced me as a rival. Kind of. I think we're going to wind up doing all of this as Tlemkin. I know that Aragon has that little bit. That's fine. So I just 
want to make sure that this goes to Tel Telemkin. And then when we get over near the Mamluks, maybe Fuzen, we'll get a, a different one here. Vaughn's is 48 years old. <clears throat> Doesn't like me. It is a Devaloy. Actually, that's occupied by Navarra. Where are the states? Okay. Yeah, I can give that to Navarra. That's fine. Uh, again, where are our states? This is good. That's a lot of aggressive expansion. I know it's only currently Tunis, but I, I really don't think we need more. Especially when we get a 100 piece deal right now and uh, be up there. All right. Sounds good to me. Pretty good stuff there. All right, so both the Ottomans and Mamluks have declared me a rival. Um, I think the Mamluks make the most sense to uh, do the rival of back. Because we can actually embargo them if we wish. We're going to lay claim here. And I'm going to lay claim here in 10 days. Because I want to declare war pretty darn quickly. Before they have a chance to move. 29,000, but it shouldn't be anyone uh, here. We have a lot of... Uh, A lot of potential war goals. Nassau is now 55 years old. Uh, but they won't royal marry me at all. Muscovy doesn't like me. Alright, Venice, I would like to claim your actual capital. And I'm going to go ahead and claim the other one while I'm at it. Man looks at no longer a valid rival. Under the category of I could have seen that coming. And I think I have the ability to do more than one here. Let's take a look here. Um, we can do Western Indian Ocean. That's where I would like to go. This is not Portugal. This is Patiguara? And here come my friends. Uh, yeah, we're going to gain corruption on that one. And I'm going to build that manufactory that's actually going to make a ton of money. 
0.64. There's a couple other 0.64s that we can make. That's where we need to be spending our money at this current time. And eventually we'll worry about it. That was just renewed loans, right? No, I think they took them. Not really sure. All right. Some cooperation with the natives. That's good. Congo, do you even have friends? Yeah, you do. You have a few friends nearby. Uh, but you are Tech 9. I am Tech 11, which isn't as much of a discrepancy as I would have expected, but it is fine. How's that Navy? It's hurting. How badly? Not too bad. You should be able to transport the rest of the, the army down without issue. This is no doubt uh, reinforcements. And Austria has somehow decided that they can call us into a war that they've started. Not only should they not be able to call us into that war, they do not need us. But we've been over that before. Okay, looks like there's a fort right here. Please just take the thing. Don't care about a nation of Veronia, wherever Veronia is. All right, we've won the siege over here. They're occupied by Great Britain and they still do not want peace. Okay. You're almost occupied by me. You still do not want peace. So Great Britain and I am in the war against the same people. All right, we have one, two, three, right? Which means I need at least two. But I probably need at least three, if not just take it all. As long as Great Britain won't uh, have a problem. Go ahead and reduce the war exhaustion, it's fine. Peace. Nassau is still the only one with any kind of actual uh, And Austria has already ended that war they did not need me in. Alright, Congo, I just want these two. So whenever you're willing to give that up. I'm actually... Uh, they're 40 away once we take this fort. I did not want to consolidate regiments. Now I'll figure out how many regiments were down. Hopefully we didn't lose too much. Probably due for a good reorganization anyway. Recounting. Alright, seriously. You're completely occupied by another enemy. You, you need to give up.
give low. Like I, I really want these two, but um, they won't do that. They would do this. This is probably fine right there. It's three. It'll get it done. And my thinking here is that we should be able to core all these right now. This one will probably have to wait. Let's just get out of this war. Oh, I have to wait a day. I knew that. Oh, these are already straight up cores? No, they just didn't show up on the list. That should give me a colonial nation. I would ask for names for said colonial nation, but uh, we, we uh, will have recorded far beyond that. All right, I've got the siege. Uh, we're 12 away. I'm going to try to finish this war here. Quick battle, that should add a lot of war score, as well as show them just how off they are. And that is that. And again, no one really cares. So, um, I think what I'm going to do is just go ahead and release the country. Luongo. And we're going to come in here and uh, enforce religion on them right now. Yes, they're going to be angry, but we've got a long truce. All right, I'm going to go ahead and see what the Commonwealth, who their friends are. Denmark, the Knights, Livonian Order, Genoa. I can do that. We're going to um, rival the Commonwealth. Uh, because they're Christian and they have a chance to have a personal union that we could contest. And I have Venetian separatist problems. So we should probably go and deal with that at some point. But we're going to end this episode here. I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, please do like, please do comment, please do subscribe down below. All that stuff does really help me out. Uh, but in the meantime, I'll see you next time.